drills it. I like that. He missed his three-point shot earlier. Again, he was open from three. But if the guy's going to give you that much space, bring it closer, get a higher percentage. He's never been known as a three-point shooter. Can't start tonight. <laughs> Not tonight. Devance. He's really come out strong here. Eight points in the ball game, two three-point shots, and a field goal here. And another open look. Actually, Daniel DeFonso and Mick Pelisi, none of them stepping out to contest that shot of Joe DeVance. DeVance has been almost always the second leading scorer after Simpson. And that's a good drive by Kapagnot, who was not checked on the switch. Four points in the ball game, coming off the bench now. But contributing well in this very crucial game six for them. Yeah, that would do wonders for his confidence, but then another offense within the ball did not touch the other players' hands in San Miguel. Gonna be a foul on Mick Benisi. And third personal foul already. These were the kinds of fouls that he committed against Simpson. Actually, he got a talaga kay Simpson on game number five. Well, eh. Kaya niyang pantayan niya pag bibigay mo sa kanya yung bola sa post. Eh. Pero pag siya gumagalaw galing sa labas, hindi kaya ni Mick yan. Dahil mas mabilis siya. Eh. And Mick will have a hard time following him laterally. That's his problem. Saka pag dikit sa basket, pag agawan sa riba, nang haba talaga ng galamay, Dr. J. And he jumps higher than Mick, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Antay ni, <antay> ni, <laughs> ni Mick sa baba yun. Pognathan has been inserted into the Alaska lineup, by the way. Here's Vanasher up against Yo. Vanasher tries to let it fly from right of the key. No. That's a fourth shot there by Larry, but stepping on the line against Danny Elderponso. That's all the lineup you're going to see team use tonight, probably. That's it. You know, the guys that he has put on the floor, do not iikot ng iikot yung laro niya, unless somebody gets into foul trouble. Less than 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Using the clock here, San Miguel has a foul to give. But a share wiggles, sets it. That's a worse oh, attempt. How many times that. do we see that <laughs> from Simpson? How about not largest from mid court? Looks good. And already, this opening quarter is a part of the colorful history of the Philippine Basketball Association. Already, Cyrus Baguio making his presence felt here. Look at what he has done so far. As we send you into the break between the two quarters. Our second quarter is underway. Quickly to Dr. J. Your thoughts about the first quarter, Dr. J. Well, this is exactly the way Alaska painted it. They wanted to see them taking advantage of what they had in offense against uh, the San Miguel team. They didn't want to go again, you know, being down by six, seven, eight points. Here, everything is working for them. All of the guys that they're expecting to click has done so in this ball game. Jason? Hey, you have to right now, San Miguel, I think in deep trouble because nothing working for them. No one's scoring from them aside from their import. He's got 10 of their 60 of their 19 points. Their key locals seemingly losing confidence as the game is coming along. They're not even looking to score in that 2-3 uh, zone. Here's Ognatan. Ognatan, ball being tapped from behind. Corner shot. No, won't stay down, and Freeman picks it up. Pontiveros to Cabagnot. Back to Pontiveros. Starts his grind. Had a sterling start in game number five. That is rejected. Shot clock continues to tick away. A foul by L.A. Tenorio. We just quickly caught up with uh, Coach Tim Cohn. Chiki did that quite earlier, just before we returned to you. Let's listen. I'm with Coach Tim of the Alaska Aces. Coach, Alaska shot well from the outside in the first quarter, and your defense forced San Miguel to take a lot of hurried shots. What should we expect from the Aces here in the second quarter? Well, we're just trying to keep the pressure on them. We feel we keep the lead. We got the lead in the series, and we keep the lead in the game. The pressure is going to mount on them as they try to rush back in. So, this we wanted to win this first quarter. It was a big win for us in this first quarter. All right, thank you, Coach. Back to you guys. And that matches what Dr. J pointed out earlier. Also, as there was a shot by Washington that has now cut down the Alaska lead to eight. Wanna share asking for it, yelling at Tenorio. Shot like a problem. The pass going nowhere. Simpson turn around. 
Th- those those shots, but that by Diamond Simpson's backbreakers for San Miguel. Although it's very early, masakit yung matirahan ka ngayon as the shot clock's winding down. Yeah, Jay, you, you almost like feel like you want to go home. Because uh, he's done uh, that uh, already uh, uh, twice. He did that, in, remember, in one game against San Miguel too. Then he's done that against almost every other team in the league. But and give them a fighting chance to get a basket. And that one works for Borboran. And look at this. Alaska jumping out to a 12-point lead in the first half. We shall be right back. It is down to 9-17 in the second quarter at San Miguel. Down, buried under the biggest lead that Alaska has posted so far. Freeman. Arwin Santos launches a triple. For a very good time, he substitution. He came in and took out that middle point, so couldn't do anything, and Arwin responds with a three-point shot. And a good re- recognition of part of Freeman on that double. That shot of Arwin Santos on pace. It's not in form. It's not in form. It's three-point shot. Na that one looked good. It's not rushed. It's not in form. It's not in form. It's not in form. Simpson curls, got it to go. Can't guard him one on one. If you guard yes. him one on one, he's going to kill anybody on that team. We caught up with the San Miguel timeout just before play regime. Let's listen in. 12. All right, Dave. Okay. Okay. Let's work the ball inside. A lot of outside shots. Let's get fouled. All right. Next time we're now we're running. Uh, Okay, uh, we listened in and they were talking about shots, at least in the meantime, Freeman nails it inside. You gotta give it to Gates. He's the most valuable import and he's proving why. I mean, obviously undersized compared to Simpson, but he just is a worker underneath the basket. Okay, Sam Sarmenta here together with Dr. J. Andy Howe. We've got Jason Webb with us, Leah Cruz and Chiggy Reyes competing our quintet for tonight, Jay Wash pushing ahead, the Magnot trailing, Simpson is there to disturb the shot. There's a loose ball foul. It, it, does Alaska want to win this game or what? After a miss, long rebound. It was actually a 2-on-1, 3-on-1 situation, but they did not give up on the play. And look what happens. Napunta pa yung bola ngayon sa Alaska because of the extra effort that they're putting in. May fall pass and begin. Yun nga, naputa pa yung bola sa kabila. May loose ball fall pass and begin. Nadapa na, nasugatan, maray pa. No? Yun na mahirap. And that San Miguel has got to pull together as a team. And they've got to match the intensity of Alaska. That's a good point. In the meantime, Bona share. Looking, shopping. Here's Baguio. They have eight on the shot clock. Baguio stoops down. Uh, Simpson providing the cover. And that was all he needed. Cybers are right here. 13 points in the ball game. You talk about really coming out and playing a showtime type of a game. Cyrus is doing that. He's, he's singing that song for West Side Story tonight. It's going to be a loose ball ball on Washington. Looks like it will be that way. It is. Go ahead, please. You can really get frustrated if you're on, yep. on, on San Miguel. First of all, you're down 3-2. You have to win. The other team is playing so well. Coach is looking. You're looking at some superstars on that bench, and they cannot come into the game. And this is what's hardly the Alaska team that played last Sunday. A different ball game, but a difference two days can do. In the meantime, this guy has already matched the highest output he's had in the series so far. He had 15 also in game number five. Yes, 15 so far. And, you, know, and, you know, Alaska's beating San Miguel not because of brand names. They're beating them because they seem to want this game more than San Miguel. They're getting all the loose balls just like right there. They're getting the rebounds. They're quicker to the ball. They're quicker to the ball. Start by doing things soon. Obviously very happy with the performance of his team. But still a long way to go. We're only in the second quarter. But he's got four. That's Washington with four fouls. And you're going to have to sit down, my friend. Yes. <laughs> Don't be surprised if Coach G will have to burn another timeout anytime soon. Especially maybe if Alaska scores again. Because this is getting out of hand early. You want to put pressure on Alaska that you can come back. The pass of Bonacher broken up by Santos. Baggio trying to return the compliment, but he ends up with a foul here. That might be a good foul also because uh, 
although it's his third, no? That's a good foul in the sense they stop at fast rate. The bug is very good at coming back. He's not really a safety guard, but he's very good at coming back and picking up those kind of passes, no? So Baggio has to sit it out. Ellen Tenori is coming in. And Sanitos is coming in for Diamond Simpson. His first rest of the game. Turke Baggio, no? Yung pasundot-sundot. No, magalit sa kanina. Hindi ba? Nambibuisip ng sakit na. And he's been able to take the ball several times. Doing that, Dr. J. It is down to 6 and 17. Alaska jumping out in front, 41 27. That will not work. Look at the way they contest those three points. And you know, sometimes I feel that San Miguel is not really reading what's happening on the floor. Diamond Simpson not on the floor at the moment. It's the op perfect opportune time to take advantage of Gabe Freeman and his ability to get over the basket. Sonny Toss, that pop shot does not work. Here comes Denok Miranda. With Jay going straight to the post and Arwin takes a three point shot. There is Jay. Arwin asking Red Freeman, creating and scoring. You know, there is no way that Sunny Toss can guard Gabe Freeman, even if it's down below, because Gabe Freeman, too, many, too much quickness. Right here, Gabe Freeman down below. It's almost like a post-up situation, but still enough quickness to get around him and enough athletic ability. Well, Gabe is wise enough to know. Sadly, taller and bigger than he is. So if you're going to guard me here, I'm going to face up on you and put the dribble and go around you. No, you know, Gabe was the one who got the rebound on the other end. He was the first one down the floor, but he never got the pass until the second attempt. Bonacher's dribble was on the line. And then of Miranda delighted over that defensive development. Yeah, go. Take go chances, eh? And look, look at uh, Alaska, like you said. Simpson, what, less than a minute and a half rest. He's back on the floor, making sure. And as you go, Tim Cohn. And we have a timeout back in a moment. An 11 point lead by the Alaska Aces. He just got him home and just caught us. Alaska on fire, but so is Freeman. 17 points already in the ball game for Jay Freeman. A one-man wrecking crew, a one-man fighting beer man. He has not been taken out of the ball game at all. He seems to be saying to all of us, if I'm going to leave the Philippines in the next few days, I wanted to do it with a flourish. Well, the share is tied up. Chance for San Miguel to inch in just a little closer. They yes. go. Big mismatch there against L.A. Tenorio, and he took his time. Um, well, because of the errors of Larry Bonacher, Jeffrey Carriazzo is going to come into the ballgame. And, and San Miguel, although yes. they didn't have a good start, finally finding their form right now. Got their confidence when Diamond Simpson went to the bench and tried to ride that same confidence. Bonacher, the bounce. Tenorio, free for a three. Nick Benici yanks it away. And a foul against Simpson who may have hurt himself in that exchange. So he was trying to grab the ball from Nick. And Nick's not going to back down. So he almost pulled his uh, hand out of that ball and tuck it. Exactly. Let's listen in to Tim Cohn during the timeout before the play resumes. Hey, 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 we can play every last game. We don't need to be in a hurry. Okay, not so clear on our audio there. We uh, actually see the fire, but we don't see the fire sticks. In the meantime, that ball is lost at the baseline. I think Tim was trying to tell them to come down. We have a lead. You know, we do not want to commit turnovers. Any good shot attempt gives us opportunities for second shots. That's going to be a foul downstairs. Nick Finisi and uh, Simpson talking a little bit. Obviously, Nick, great psychological uh, type of player, always wants to get the goat of the opponents. Maybe he can, you know, Nick will never, he will always be there concentrating. Yes. On the game. Uh, you know, when, when, when that, when it, it, this goes back to right here, you know, foul is not called. That is not Nick Benici's fault. He is going to defend that basketball. The hand is in there. He has to pull it out. And right there, that's the, that's the next possession. Of course, Diamond Simpson felt upset about the last one. But since there is no foul, Nick Benisi has no choice but to pull the basketball deep in his chest. And I like the fact that Gabe Freeman was whispering. 